My name is Eva Urban Hughes, and I am a social studies teacher at Wayland High School. I teach AP politics and government, civics, participation in government, US history, US history one, US history, the full gamut. Is they started exploring what non citizen voting meant, and essentially it meant you know, uh, people that are, don't necessarily uh, have citizenship in the state, in the United States, um, but are still living in communities that they contribute to, would have an opportunity to vote in municipal elections. So for like select board um, or for uh, the school committee, right? All places where they felt after a while pretty strongly that everybody should have some voice in the working and functioning communities that they contribute to and, and they live in. And they put out social media campaigns. <laughs> they eventually had entire community events um, in which the state representative as well as the state senator showed up and listened to them speak, I think eloquently about this issue. They put out you know, large communications about um, you know, the state bill that was, that was on the docket at that time that was being debated regarding this particular topic. And they became real advocates. And, and in my mind, this project encompasses um, the purest form of what public education is all about. And that is inspiring our students to walk out into the world as thoughtful and engaged citizens and good people. And kind of step out of their comfort zone and really allow students to take the reins on exploring one of their interests and become civic and community activists. So take on the role of a facilitator, allow them to have their passions sort of drive them in, you know, not only in their research on this topic, but also in their action steps, but at the same time, play the role of the adult in the room. That the primary work is to make sure that, that kids are walking out of public schools with a firm grasp of what it means to be a good citizen.